February 2009, I came in for my normal ladies' morning on a Tuesday to be faced with a member of the council staff who worked behind the counter. Had I signed the petition? What petition? They're going to close the place. So at half past three, we were still here planning the campaign. And then the following week, we were aware of a group of um, other players who came to a different session um, at the centre who were also planning a campaign. So we joined forces, and there were about 30 of us originally who were um, you know, planning on lobbying councillors, writing to MPs, you know, the whole shebang. We formed ourselves um, ultimately into a company called Tennis Swansea 365. I went to see the um, cabinet member for recreation, leisure and tourism who said, well, they weren't keen to close it, couldn't afford to run it, but that if we could come up with a viable business plan, why didn't we run it ourselves? We produced um, a business plan which we submitted in the July and um, it wasn't in, it was the November, I think, we finally had the, 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 the a tick basically from the council to say yes we're prepared to um, let you try and take over. Um, a gentleman popped in here one day after we were in the newspapers um, when the news that the place was going to close wandered in and said look I work for um, a group called the Wales, Wales Cooperative and I'm sure that you know what you want to do is run it as a social enterprise and we hadn't thought about that we didn't know how we were going to run it in the, initially so um, anyway, we, we followed his lead and we actually did get some funding from them and that was um, to pay for our IT equipment, the till, um, television that's sitting behind you there and a few other bits and pieces. And we were having board meetings in people's houses, at the, in reception at the council, in um, the national pool, anywhere we could find a room, Wells Co-op lent us rooms. What we are is a social enterprise. All of the people on the board are volunteers. And in fact, you know, I've been working for 36 months as a volunteer. I mean, in some of it, almost full time when the when the chips were down. But we have a paid staff that um, operate the centre on our behalf. We came into a boarded up building on a Thursday. Um, we had 10 days to clean and decorate. I mean, the, the LTA came in and they helped us, or they painted this area, they did a bit of maintenance. But they organised um, leaflet drops, advertising in the newspapers, um, radio advertising so that people were aware and um, the Evening Post who had been exceptional in their support for this place during our campaign. I think the council were running about 10 sessions here when it closed. That would be things like ladies morning, mixed and so on and so forth. And there were about 70 people being coached here by the, the coaches that the council um, employed. And uh, now we've got something like 22 organised sessions a week and getting on for 300 people being coached. And that is all to do with marketing, driving and, and making the environment happy, welcoming, clean, you know, staff who are um, outstanding in their enthusiasm for our project, you know. And I mean, I pat myself on the back regularly that we managed to employ somebody like Barry because he's, um, you know, been instrumental in taking our dream forward and making it work. But we knew obviously to have any success we had to have sustained success so we put a model in place for uh, for improving the numbers in our programs um, and by the end of our first program we had over 220 people enrolled in our tennis program uh, and prior uh, to the, the centre closing down under the council they had 70 so it was a quite a remarkable improvement. We did a lot of work to get that done obviously uh, we made sure that everybody who came to the centre that they enjoyed their experience firstly and that we followed up. So it was probably a gamble on the part of the board when they took me on, not being from tennis. Would it work or wouldn't it wouldn't work? And I think it was one of the advantages of me not being involved in tennis is that I'll put the business first and I see if the tennis centre is here in four or five years because we've got sensible pricing and flexible prices for people to pay to play and we've got an emphasis on courses then the tennis will flourish ultimately at the end of the day, I think. I mean, we've implemented a Facebook page, which is extremely popular. Um, we put offers on there every day. If the courts are quiet, when we come in in the morning, we'll buy. A, we'll do a happy hour. We'll do buy one court, get the second court free, or buy one hour, get the second hour free, or 50% off. I mean, I'd rather see people play tennis than have no one here at all. I think the key to success here is it's such a small team of us. I mean, there's only five operational team. And, and previously there was up to 20 staff working in the centre and obviously that was one of the main reasons why they lost so much. 
but we work a lot harder we have to work a lot harder but we know if we don't our jobs are on the line because we could be back to square one and the centre goes down pan but we giving people that responsibility motivates them we come in every day we want to know how we did yesterday we want to know how we did last week and we want to know how we did last month you know and that mentality you don't normally get with 20 year olds and 19 year olds but because they know it's essential and they know if they don't perform or if I don't perform it has a knock on effect so and that's been really important but we're very proud of the fact as a team that when we look at our figures that we can exclude funding and still know that we'd keep the centre open like so it's one of the things that we take pride in. Barry the manager now has brought in some new activities like cardio tennis and uh, Zumba I think popular things so you can get larger numbers in and then they're exposed to what's going on here they take an interest perhaps bring their children. Really good fun group of people running around you go to your own level and the coach is absolutely excellent keeps us all moving and uh, hopefully getting a bit fitter. An absolute fantastic experience. The staff, from the moment you walk through the door, they're just so enthusiastic. They really encourage the children. They have an amazing backup system, a house point system to encourage them. So it's not just from a tennis point of view. It's an overall kind of programme to encourage them to just progress. It's fantastic. It really is brilliant. It's lovely having conversations with parents and players who have nothing but good words to say about what we've done. It's nice the places, I mean it was really depressing, I can't tell you what it's like. We'd come in on a, on a Friday morning and play the ladies on a mixed morning on a Friday and we'd come off court and we'd sit and it'd all be in darkness, there'd be nothing happening and it was just so depressing. And now you come in, it's like a breath of fresh air. I think everybody you speak to will say I mean, those that were here before and those who see it now, or indeed new people, just a fabulous place to be.